All right, hello, welcome to another jam-packed, action-packed edition of Let's Play Civilization IV, uh, Unique Historical Victory Time with the Ethiopians, and we pretty much got it sewn up, but I gotta wait, uh, what is it, 325 more years before uh, the end of time, the end of history, uh, the big victory. Jeez Louise, look at this crap. These guys are something else, I tell you. And they do it to me every time. The good thing is they're not going to get the silver mine this time. The bad thing is it's still going to make this a pain in my rear end. The good part is these Arabians who have decided to declare war on me for no good reason are going to they're going to they're going to get theirs, man. I can tell you that. They're going to they're going to pay the piper for their insolence, for their insolent behavior, I guess. But yeah, we have more or less completely blocked off the ability of our enemies to reach any of Europe. I guess they could try to start a town here, but I don't think they will. And then you can't really start a town around here, because it's all jungle. So yeah, so as long as we don't get our butts kicked or collapse and somebody takes one of our collapsy towns, then we're fine. Oh, it looks like they got the uh, thing of sand. No, no, they either got that cool looking temple or they got the other thing. They got the, um, they got the, uh, Jesus, Luis, what did he destroy? Plantation. God dang it. Uh, the Kalukan Temple, or they just built a castle, which that's probably that. Uh, 700th time that thing's needed to be repaired, I suppose. And once again, this guy's immobilized there. Well, one thing's for certain, they're not going to get my silver mine, and that's, that's, that's something. It's something next to nothing, but it's something that we can, we can be proud of as people, as humans. But, uh, yeah, I cannot wait till they're, uh, we punish these uh, Arabians for their stupid war attempt against us, which I did not appreciate at all. No reason to declare a war on us. Other than jealousy of our great goals that we have achieved. Hey, 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 don't lose. Holy crap, you scared me. Even though there's almost no way he should have lost that. But still, stuff can happen, right? I like that they just go down the coast to just decide to blockade this place and blockade that place. That's actually completely untrue because it's a privateer who's just going to eat them up left and right. And also destroy all my crap. But, uh, frankly, I'm okay with it. Alright, I got a cannon. Let's go build a bank now. You have to build, like, everything, which is fine. Fine and dandy. No problem from my end on that. Yep. But, yeah, two first strikes, which is kind of nice. Uh, like, what do we got here? Yeah. And they get the triple first strike, which is two for Yeah, eh, it's all right. <coughs> I don't know. It's hard to see that. You know what I mean? I've never really dealt with using the first strike thing very often. I guess I probably should. All right. How many troops they got here? Not enough to not get killed, that's for sure. Well, they got like four? That's a fair amount, but uh, two cannons should be enough to pretty much wipe out their ability to uh, defend themselves properly. Which would be nice. But yeah, I was fairly annoying there. I start building banks too after this. Probably won't have any more need for war shortly. So probably should stop building more Aroma warriors and more cannons. Yep. So we'll go ahead and just build this. The ships will be gone soon because they'll sue for peace as soon as I sack their town. 
idiots. Yeah, next turn. Next turn, it's time to die, so you know. Go ahead and build me a, a beautiful bank. I guess I could have went for civil servant, or I could have went for bureaucracy, but I didn't. I'm okay with that. Yeah, in the last game, I had a town here, but uh, kind of unnecessary, I suppose. Kind of unnecessary. So yeah, in real life, I think Ethiopia was the first country to have their official religion as Christianity. Although that is disputed by Armenians that I've met, who say that their, theirs was actually the first one to adopt Christianity as a state religion. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you, don't know. Just in there for a bit. All right, now we're gonna have Zacha. Wow. Beginner's luck, very nice. Both of them. Whoa, really? Ah, he's still pretty tough, huh? How about now? It's pretty cool. That, yeah, you know what? You know what's actually pretty good. His first uh, upgrade was actually for anti. Uh, <clears throat> Anti uh, tall man unit, anti uh, rider there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, well, I got lucky a bunch of times, so it only stood the reason that I'd run out of luck eventually. Anti tall man unit, anti uh, uh, riders. Shoot, I'll be able to attack next turn. I guess I'll move both these guys ahead because it's not like they have to defend anything. Yeah, so let's see if we can get them next turn, huh? They always seem to be able to produce themselves an extra unit or draft an extra unit or a mercenary, an extra unit, something like that when I got them on the ropes, but that probably won't be enough. I'm not going to give you anything. What the heck's wrong? Oh, you're furious now. I'm sure. And he's also mad about religion. I think that was more... They programmed that also so over time people become less angry about that. Which makes sense, because that used to be that used to be a legitimate reason to go to war with somebody because they didn't like their religion. Uh, although that was usually probably, oh no, they, did, they didn't actually plus up. Let's get a little more experience here. You too. Why not? You know, if you get a free shot, why not take it? Share the wealth, as we say. Let's go for triple. What's in here? Anything good? Woof. Take that. Now what do you say? Yeah, you better sue for peace, you sack of dog waste. That'll teach ya. Marhaban, jerk. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Well, we taught them a lesson. They'll know better to mess with us next time. Declare war on me, you sons of... Sons of Biscuits. So anyway, yeah. So we won. I mean, it really wasn't that exciting of a war. I mean, they blockaded us. They like, I think all their ships got destroyed too. And not by me, but by the bar, uh, by the privateers there. Which, you know, they destroyed me too, because I don't have any, I don't have any answer to that boat. You know, that's a little annoying, but that's the way it is. It doesn't really matter. So, yeah. And the Malinese have MPs, don't they? Pretty sure they do. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a special unit, but I think by the time they come in, the units are no longer important anyway. It's like the dog soldiers. The dog soldiers, there's no, there's no Native America team <coughs> on this one, of course. Uh, so they're just basically a bunch of barbs who run around North America and make your life miserable, especially if you brought any melee units because they get 100% attack against melee units. So, you know, so if that's how you're going to colonize the new world, you better think again, jerk. But yeah, they're just very numerous, as I remember. It's been a long time since I played with anybody to try to colonize the new world. Uh, definitely a rough time. 
a rough time. Hopefully we can avoid any more impy raids. That'll be fantastic, I think. Now that we have the whole world under our thumb. And finally, we'll be able to reestablish this road, too, which has been out of service for, I don't know, centuries now. Which, you know, it's a little crap, but what are you going to do? Whoa, they reestablished it at Al Kartak. Kardak. Darka Gardaka. Gardaka. Okay, but I don't know why you'd want to because it's like, I mean, sure it's got copper, but you guys, actually, do they not have iron there? I think they might actually not have any metal. That might be true. They might not actually have any metal. So if that's the case, I guess I, uh, I understand, even though I wouldn't establish a city there because it was still under their cultural control. I guess I could declare war on them for no reason other than just destroy a town because I, I don't like it. aesthetically. I don't like what it does. No oh, man, no, we weren't done. We weren't done at all with these impies. They're back again. They don't quit. They don't stop. This guy needs to not be there. He's in the wrong town. I like it how they're like right by me, and they could just you know, they just appear like in an area where I am and where I clearly see them. Well, hey, at least... Well, we'll see what they do now. Hello, Portugal. I like you guys. Just don't ever think of forming any kind of colony because they did, obviously, they have Mozambique, and uh, two others that I can't think of off the top of my head. Uh, I actually had to fight three wars there to keep those under their control at once. And they, they did pretty well, especially for being a poorer country uh, as far as European colonial powers go. So, yeah, I was going to say they were a pretty poor country as far as uh, colonial powers went. Uh, at least by the time they were fighting those wars to keep their colonies, which is, you know, in the, uh, in the 60s, uh, they did a pretty good job, but <clears throat> political pressure eventually forced them to accede. Because, uh, one, they were a dictatorship under uh, Salazar at the time. So they weren't too popular with really anybody. Uh, because they were anti communist, so they weren't popular with the with the Eastern Bloc, but also they were uh, a dictatorship. They were, you know, I mean, borderline fascist. So they didn't really have too many good friends in the West. Kind of like, but I do think they were actually in NATO. I don't know if they got NATO right away or if it, it was some time before they got into NATO. I know uh, Spain it didn't get into NATO until 82, until well after Franco was dead. But I do not know exactly when Portugal came into NATO, if it was earlier or later. But anyway, Salazar, yeah, he was a real... I mean, you know, like most dictators, I found out that like most dictators, no matter how odious they were, they tend to have a pretty good following. Uh, through, you know, like... Uh, like later on, you know, like 20, 30, 40, 50 years after their death, these guys tend to uh, have these shocking rehabilitations in their reputation. Uh, like, you know, Stalin, you know, nobody would have thought 20 years ago people would actually be revering Stalin, one of history's greatest monsters. And, uh, yeah, the, the Russians have, you know, Putin dusted him off and brought him out as, like, this great man with this strong leadership style who made, who made Russia this uh, power that everybody had to respect, which in a way is true, but powerfully misses the point. I mean, yes, he did, he industrialized the country, but at what cost? I mean, how many people died in the effort, you know? And uh, what were the long-term effects? You know, well, the long-term effects were a, uh, a society that became deeply suspicious uh, of itself and uh, 
was unable to work together uh, very well and created a very cynical system of exploitation. Um, so while you could say Joseph Stalin did a hell of a job to make, to take Russia slash Soviet Union from a backwards, backwater, ooh, I could get some boats in there now. Backwards, not right now, backwards, backwater uh, country to uh, one of the two superpowers, but I think World War II also helped him do that. World War II obviously destroying like the other world powers and also giving him like half of Europe. It's pretty sweet for him. So I'd say in a lot of ways he was just kind of lucky. And as far as winning World War II, I mean that was that was mostly Georgi Zukov. That wasn't his great talents or anything. All right. Whoa. Yeah, take your money. I think that's a good deal. Yeah, he went from wanting to be my uh, wanting to be my baby, wanting to be my my vassal, to wanting to like he's always being a jerk to me. He's caught up in that caught up in that religion there. But whatever. Yeah, everybody's got Christianity here, very nice. We've got uh, unassailable cultural borders. Well, not unassailable, but unassailable like, hey, you can't found your, your city here. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna try to just, it could happen, but it would be unlikely that anybody would try to um, I am, I'm going I'm to build myself a, a castle here. It gives you an extra trade route. It's something to do. Holy crap, look at these, look at these guys. I expect to see them after all this time. But I don't think I'll get too much of a chance for a victory against this here, even with my crappy little dudes. We'll see. Although it would be nice if I had walls there, but... Uh, We'll see how it goes. Not too worried about it, one way or the other. But yeah, interesting. Uh, some guy last night had a picture of Slobodan Milosevic as his, uh, as his avatar on Twitter. And uh, I don't go on Twitter a lot. But I go on there more than I should, I suppose, which is more than none. And, uh, yeah, I just couldn't believe somebody was idolizing him. I said, yeah, like, you know, what part of, like, uh, genocide against the Kosovars do you find uh, cool? And he's like, no, there was no genocide. It was uh, just killing terrorists, you know, who killed Serbian policemen. Um, so, and there were, there were uh, in uh, the Kosovo-Bosnian conflict there, there were, of course, uh, some people who were, uh, would be the future of Al Qaeda and such, and went up there to fight. Uh, that is true, but it would be um, a misunderstanding of the situation or a mischaracterization of the situation to say that the majority of those fighting uh, against the Serbians or being victimized by the Serbians were um, what's his faces were terrorists. Because there was a lot of just nasty, nasty stuff that we don't like to think about, you know. Uh, as in, like, dudes being killed and, and women being, like, raped so that they would become pregnant with at least half Serbian Christian babies. So to dilute the bloodline of the Kosovars. So, yeah, it was pretty, pretty nasty. But uh, luckily most of that's behind us, although there is a new fangled tension between the Serbians and the Kosovars, but I don't think the Serbians got the Kajones to try to attack Kosovo. Uh, if they would, I would imagine that uh, NATO, or at least the United States, would respond. Uh, certainly we would. I mean, heck, they're like our baby. Uh, what's his name? They got a statue of Bill Clinton in the middle of their, uh, the middle of their capital, so kind of rude not to help them since we kind of birthed them into the world. We're, oh well.
to the sore spot with the Ruskies. They're mad at us. They're gonna be mad for a long time. Um, well, as long as they keep dying in Ukraine, they can be as mad as they want. Well, actually, I prefer they stop dying in Ukraine and go home and die. Uh, that would probably be better, uh, especially for the poor Ukrainians. Uh, I really find myself wrapped up in that war. Um, we had a foreign exchange student from Ukraine as well. She's doing well. Uh, she's from Venezia, which you might, if you're following the war at all, you might remember that it was struck by a caliber missile. Uh, but it did not, uh, she was not injured, uh, but certainly people were injured and killed in that missile strike, which hit a residential building, by the way. Uh, I don't know if the Russians are intentional. I would say the Russians aren't intentionally attacking uh, civilian infrastructure. Nah, that's enough. I don't need to get money for it. Uh, but I would say that their, their weapons are not as good as advertised and that they're not shy about hitting civilian infrastructure, let's say that. Like I would say they're probably not trying to because it's a waste, especially if you lob like an Iskander missile, which is a few million dollars, at a block of civilian apartment, a block of flats, as they might say. Uh, you're really getting not very much out of that for your money. Because uh, Iskander missiles don't grow on trees. My mom used to say that. Okay, so I think that's probably enough. And I'll see you for the next video. And we're, 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 we're grooving, okay? We're moving and we're grooving. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.